Hi, I'm Michael Moss. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the features of Dyad 2 you learned about in our introductory video. In the first part of this video, we'll talk about the Dyad 2's dual function keys. Next, we'll review the new Dyad menus and how to access them. Then, we'll talk about Dyad 2's new ergonomic design, which makes it a lot easier to handle. Finally, we'll review what you've learned by means of a video-based training exercise. Let's start with Dyad 2's dual function keys. A dual function key is a key that is used to access two Dyad functions rather than one. This dual function key is used to access both the void and the escape functions. This dual function key accesses both the edit and the pre-record functions. To access the function on the bottom of the key, you simply press the key. So, pressing this key would give you the pre-record function. Pressing this key would give you the escape function. How do you access the top function of the key, the void function? You must use the shift key. You press and hold down the shift key, then press the dual function key, and that gives you the top function on the key. In this case, void. If you press and hold down the shift key and press this key, you get the edit function. If you press and hold down the shift key and press this key, you get the driver release function. There are 10 dual function keys on the dyad. Three of these dual function keys are located on the very top row of keys on Dyad 2's keyboard. We've already talked about the void escape key and the edit pre-record key. The backlight duplicate key is directly to the right of the edit record key. All the other dual function keys are located at the bottom right of the Dyad 2's keyboard. Driver release signature, release number small arrow up, left at, big arrow up, sign delivery notice, small arrow down, special, big arrow down, backspace, space, and check COD. Okay, so much for the dual function keys. In the next section of this video, we'll talk about new Dyad 2 menus. The purpose of these menus, like the dual function keys, is to reduce the number of keys on Dyad 2's keypad. On Dyad 1, you selected one of six keys to indicate a reason for non-delivery. Not in, no money, not ready, and so on. On Dyad 2, these keys have been eliminated. Instead, the reasons for non-delivery are listed on a menu, the non-delivery menu. The non-delivery menu is brought up by pressing the non-delivery key. You simply select the appropriate number from the menu. Dyad 1's six package type keys have also been eliminated. They're replaced by a package type menu on Dyad 2. Pressing Dyad 2's package type key brings up the package type menu. Once again, you select the appropriate number. Before we leave the subject of Dyad 2's menus, I'd like to review a key point about accessing the time card, delivery, pickup, and communication screens. On Dyad 2, these modes may be accessed only through the main menu. And in most cases, pressing the big arrow up key will get you to the main menu. However, there are some things you need to keep in mind. When you're making deliveries, you must be in either the street number field or street name field on the address screen to get to the main menu using big arrow up. When you're in the scheduled pickup mode, you must press the escape key to return to the main menu. When you're in the unscheduled or one-time pickup mode, pressing stop complete will automatically return you to the main menu. However, if you're in the unscheduled or one-time pickup modes and you want to void the pickup and return to the main menu, you must first press the void key. When you confirm the void by answering yes, you'll be returned to the main menu. And that sums up the keyboard and menu changes in Dyad 2. Before we close, 
I'd like to quickly review Dyad 2's care and handling. Earlier this year, many of you completed a survey that asked for your comments regarding Dyad care and handling. In the comments section of the survey, many of you indicated you wanted a more durable, easier to handle Dyad. First, let's address durability. While some improvements have been made, Dyad 2 is not significantly more durable than Dyad 1. If you drop it, it's just as likely to be damaged. This is a delicate electronic instrument. You still have to be very careful with the signature pad. If you use anything but a Dyad stylus on the signature pad, you'll damage it. And remember, not to put your Dyad 2 down on an abrasive surface. If you do, you'll scratch the delicate scanner window. Scratches on the scanner window interfere with barcode scanning. When it comes to handling, Dyad 2 is an out-and-out -out winner. It's a lot easier to handle. This will keep damage due to dropping to a minimum. The device is lighter and smaller than Dyad 1. And its weight is more evenly distributed. Rubber pads on the back keep Dyad 2 from sliding off smooth surfaces. And the sturdy built-in handle provides you with a carrying option not available on Dyad 1. Even with these new features, you should use a Dyad holder whenever possible. Speaking of holders, one final note about Dyad 2. The Diva has been re-engineered to accommodate Dyad 2. When placing Dyad 2 in the Diva, slide it in sideways with the keyboard facing down, not up. The Dyad will not communicate with the Diva unless it is inserted with the keys facing down and the Dyad's handle facing out. Let's watch a driver insert the Dyad into the Diva using proper methods. That's all there is to it. Aside from the modified Diva, there are no other changes in in-vehicle communication system hardware or procedures. This concludes our review of Dyad 2 features. If you have any questions about Dyad 2, ask your supervisor, or refer to your Dyad 2 feature summary, which contains the same information we've just covered in this video.